Hello everyone, I'm Chasha Marvina and I'm 16 years old and I was an awardee from fully funded student exchange program called AFS Global STEM Academies 2024 and I traveled from Indonesia to China so maybe you guys who is a Indonesian citizen is really familiar with AFS program so yeah, like I mentioned it before this program is completely free you don't need to pay anything starting from visa travel expenses like flights meals and place to stay it's completely free and it costs zero money so for those who are really interested in this program please make sure you really follow me until this video ends and maybe if you guys have a different questions that you really want to um seek out please drop it in this comment so i can replay it or maybe make some videos related to that questions so enjoy you guys what is AFS global stem academies as the name suggests the program is focuses on STEM fields while also providing a cultural experiences. And for the program structure, the program is divided into two sessions, virtual session and also in-person session. First, for a virtual session, you will connect with participants from 15 different countries and you will learn topics like sustainability, self-reflection, design thinking, and diversity from UVend. It's quite prestigious, isn't it? And you will attend some meetings facilitated by supportive facilitators and mentors for about 12 weeks and it's really flexible and you can choose it based on your schedule so make sure it doesn't ruin your school okay and however maybe as time passes by you cannot attend your meeting you can ask for reschedule but please note that don't do it too often and just reschedule it when it's really necessary and during Zoom, usually you will be given the chance to, do, to have like a breakup room sessions with your international friends. So you guys can communicate clearly and privately to build a strong connections. And you will also engage with materials presented through tools like uh, PowerPoint or maybe Kahoot. Yeah, that's it. And you will complete like weekly modules as a part of the curriculum and submit a final project or we call it capstone project as evidence of learning. And next step is making visa. First of all, you will initially pay for the visa application, but will be reimbursed by AFS later, so don't worry guys. Once your visa is um, approved, you will only need to wait for your in-person program to start in your host country. And here, the most exciting part is in-person session. This one allows you to travel to one of the four host countries, such as China, Egypt, India, and Brazil. And you will participate in unique activities and follow a country-specific schedule. So the activities here will be different from four respective countries. Why you have to join this program? Like I mentioned it before, it's a fully funded program. And the scholarship covers full tuitions, starting from virtual sessions until in-person or travel sessions. International affair, including domestic travel, meals, place to stay, like housing. Maybe you will get host family or dorms or stay in the hotel. And medical insurance, field trips, like transportation using bus or car and the tickets. 24-7 emergency support, visa assistance, and a participation certificate. And please note that you only need to bring some additional money for your own expenses for souvenirs or shopping. And in my opinion, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience that you really should try. No, must, not should. I met so many amazing people from different countries, with different cultures, languages, and perspectives. And that's really made us unique. Through these differences, we learned a lot about respecting one another and building strong connections. There were so many new experiences that opened up. For example, in China. I learned so much about their unique culture and had the chance to dive deeper into technology. The technology there is truly incredible, really. Should I make a separate video about my experience in China, guys? Drop your comments, guys. And I also became more critical thinker because there I learned about STEM, which requires creativity and teamwork. And one of the activities we did was Marshmallow and Spaghetti Tower Challenge. Honestly, it was so much fun, guys. And besides travel sessions, um, let me tell you something really great about the virtual session. It's amazing for improving your public speaking skills. Seriously, there's no right or wrong. There's no judgment there. You're encouraged to just speak your mind clearly and share your ideas. That's it. And you will get to discuss with the expert, like your mentors, facilitators, and your international friends. And trust me, they are all super supportive. So don't stress about saying something different from the others. Because back then, it's just your point of view. Like there's, yeah, just your perspective, guys. Um, just to be confident and take the chance to grow. Also, you will get the certificate that will really boost your CV. 
Okay guys, so let's talk about what you need to prepare for this application process, step by step. The things and documents must be in English, okay? And of course, the most important part of the applications is the essays. You need to write three essays. But, however, when I saw the application process, there's a lot of questions there. And for me, it feels like essays anyway. But however, while they only ask for three essays, don't underestimate this part. Because technically, you have to maximize all of the questions to make your application outstanding. The three main essays have a maximum word count of 175. Oh my gosh, don't remember that. I know it's pretty short. And this means your writing needs to be concise and straight to the point. Highlighting only the most important ideas. Okay, and this essay topic often cover your motivation for joining this program, your personal insights, and your unique perspectives, or maybe your experience itself. And your essay are a critical part of this evaluation process for me because they give the selectors like a clear picture of who you are. So take this opportunity seriously. Write thoughtfully and describe yourself in a way that stands out. And one thing you must keep in your mind when writing your essay for this program is to show honesty and integrity. Never use tools like AI or ChatGPT to write your essay. Why? Because I guess they likely have tools to detect the use of AI. And using such tools can reduce your chances of being accepted into the program. And next, you'll need a letter of a recommendation and you can ask your teacher, mentor, or tutor to write it for you. This is equally important because it allows the selectors to evaluate you through someone else's perspective. Choose a teacher who knows you well and can write about your strengths, class activities, and qualities that align with this program. And of course, this document must be written in English. So make sure your teacher uh, using a good English and make it detailed, not too short or too generic. And you can also find example of letter of recommendation online, but ensure the letter truly reflects who you are. And once again, don't use AI or anything related to ChatGPT, right? And of course, the supporting documents. You will also need to complete several documents for the applications, such as academic history. This is essentially your school report card. If your report card is not in English, use the format provided on the AFS website and have it officially stamped by your school. And health certificate. This is like a simple medical checkup, uh, but it's not a full body examination, so the cost should be minimal, not too much. You can also find out the template from the AFS website too. And then consent letter. Your parents will need to provide signed consent forms for your participation. Passport. Your passport must be valid throughout the program, including in-person station abroad. Based on my experience during Academy 2024, there were five house country options, similar to this year, but with one difference. There's no USA design. We were allowed to rank the countries we want to visit, starting from our top choices at number one to number three. However, the final decision on which country we will be assigned for this program will be made by AFS. What's next after submitting your application? Next, if you get selected, you will be invited to attend the interview. I received this invitation about a week before the interview especially on January 27th. They will also provide you with a Zoom link. And my interview was also on February 3rd at that time. And this is for the selection of Indonesian schoolers. I'm not sure if there's a process um, is the same for other countries as they have their own selection procedures. For example, my friend from Malaysia, they mentioned it that they only have interview and also a dynamic selection process through Zoom meetings. So it might be a bit different from Indonesia. As far as I know too, my friend who is from Mexico only has one selection process, which is submitting all the documents. So there is no interview there. Okay, so we go back to the interview stage. I think for the interview stage, it is the most nerve-breaking part of the selection process. During the stage, I have to speak for about 30 minutes, if I remember correctly. In this interview, the interviewer asked a lot of questions related to the program, such as how well I understood the program and also about my personal identity. They were really evaluating how we approach the problem solving because there is also a case study in the interview that we would need to solve it, like as well as the questions about how we will handle potential issues that might arise during the exchange program. I also communicated with some of my Indonesian friends and I concluded that in each interview, the questions asked can be different and won't be exactly the same. So, my advice is that you need to practice speaking English regularly. And one effective way to do this is by practicing with others, like your friends or your family or maybe your 
teachers, like English teachers. You should also make a list of potential questions that might come up during the interview. But remember, don't really memorize the answers because they could be different and not 100% will come up. And as, a, as far as I remember, the questions I had were different from my friends. Some might focus on your uh, personality, while others could be more about your understanding of the program or even a case study that not really related to the program or maybe some cases that might come or you're, you might face uh, during this program. And there might be even combination of all the three of it. And also, make sure you're well prepared for this interview as this is the last step toward for you being awarded to the program, okay? Next, the most interesting and exciting part of this program was getting accepted. I received the invitation letter on February 16th and I was just like, oh God, thank God I got accepted. It was really amazing and incredible back then. And I considered it like a Valentine's gift for me. I couldn't imagine how I got selected among incredible people from all over 15 countries. I was just like, I'm screaming, oh my god. Like, out of nearly 6,000 highly qualified applications, and I was got the opportunity to be awarded. Okay, okay guys. Honestly, I was so happy at the moment that I jumped with my mom when literally I just ate lunch there. And for your information, guys, during the welcoming session with the director of AFS, he mentioned it that the septum rate was only 2.5%. I was like, wow. Oh. The septum rate here is even lower than Harvard one, right? So it's really like a dream, and this is truly really incredible. It's like the hard work I've done so far has paid off. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Honestly, going through this application process was not easy at all because I was also quite scared of failing in this program. But when I looked at this program, I saw it was an opportunity for me to challenge myself, to see how far I could go. So I want to prove myself that I could do that, even though there was no guarantee that I could succeed but I could evaluate my own process. So all I did was give my best, and honestly, I didn't set my expectation too high, so I just keep going, because there's always a way for everything. Believe in yourself, you can definitely make it. Good luck, guys. The application is still there. There's uh, 10 days before the application closed. So guys, do you think that I should make um, some videos related to my experience, especially my specific experience during my exchange in China, or maybe talk about how I prepared to go to China, since China has a lot of restrictions. What do you think, guys? Please drop your ideas in this comment, and if you have any questions, don't forget to mention them in the comments. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.